Great Friday morning, January 29th, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful, sunshiny January day toward the end of the month. And I'm listening in the background to an old hymn, Jesus paid it all, all to him. We owe sin has left a crimson stain. But if you look outside, you see the beautiful glistening. You can't get whiter than that snow out there. It's perfect. And God will wipe everything that we have done and give us a new chance. Just like the new beginning of the dawning of this day. Yeah, that's, that's a merciful God that I want to serve for the rest of my life. And I know you are the same. And because of that, we would have read this today. Psalms 59, 16. I will sing of thy mercy. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy grace in the morning. In the beginning of the day, the morning of our life, as early as we can, as early as we can in the day, in the week, whatever. Right now, we will sing of his mercy. We might not be able to do it audibly, but we can make melody in our heart. For thou has been our defense. He has been our rock and refuge in the day of trouble. I know that's the case for you. I know I'm not the only one where the Lord has carried throughout the years. He's so faithful. And we know in Psalms 29, 11, the promises that the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace, no matter what's going on. If you're still in the middle of negotiations with the union, if, if you're struggling with COVID, if you are dealing with financial situations the lord is with you and he will bless you with peace and give you strength and we are in leviticus 11 and it goes through how there are different regulations as far as keeping our body prepared as a sanctuary to honor the lord so <laughs> there, there are some some items where you know people are like what 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 are you doing what are you talking about and some of these we are familiar like in verse 7 and the swine the pig though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed yet he cheweth not the cud he is unclean to you so that's why so many people do not eat pork and then some people don't eat the shrimp and the crab and the lobster because it says that if it doesn't have fins and it moves in the waters in verse 10 and in the seas and in the rivers and it doesn't have scales either and of any living thing which is in the waters they shall be an abomination unto you what I have to say is pray about what you're going to ingest and digest in your body because these regulations is because the lord bottom line verse 44 says i am the lord your god ye shall therefore sanctify separate yourself and because i am holy you shall be holy neither shall you defile yourselves with the creeping things of the earth now like i said i am plant-based i'm vegan but this was because the Lord put me on a fast many years ago and I just never returned. I would, you know, give up certain foods and then I really didn't have a desire to go back. But listen, like I gave my testimony, I had the french fries and the, the cookies too much and I gained weight from November. The Lord is you know, having me to get that stuff off. So pray about it. So whatsoever ye eat, drink, or do, do it all unto the glory of the Lord, and he will lead and guide. What do you have to say about any of this, Timotheus? Mm, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. What do you have to say as far as treating your body? I mean, you've been working out, and the Lord is glorifying himself in your frame. What about digesting? You're, you're really conscious about what you eat. Let's hear about it. Just doing research on how food affects you. Ooh, louder. Let's hear that. Uh, I don't know, like, you, you know everything now, like, the science.
sandwich and stuff like that. So you can literally understand like what a what a, like a snack or like a meal is gonna do to you. Mm -hmm. And if you like know that it's gonna mess you up, but it tastes good, then mm -hmm. like you know, it's just something with your brain, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess it's something wrong with all of our brains <laughs> because we're wired that way yeah. to want pleasure and want to have food that tastes good, you know. But it's it's only that that meal usually lasts. 20 minutes, 15 minutes, for some of us, five minutes. But um, the Lord wants he himself to be the source of pleasure. No, no dish, no drink, no outfit, no car, no job. He is the source and he will never change. So let us uh, derive our joy from him today and let's serve him with gladness. Have a good one.